Hello everyone and welcome to Mr. Simplify's tutorials. In this tutorial we're going to look at fault tree analysis and simplify the concept with the use of uh, a couple of examples. Now we've previously looked at uh, fishbone analysis in this channel and just like fishbone analysis, fault tree analysis is a method of conducting a root cause analysis or an RCA. So problems are encountered on a regular basis in business as we all know. The purpose of a root cause analysis is to diagnose a problem and get to the root causes that result into the problem. And if the causes of a problem are identified, corrective actions can then ensure that the problem doesn't reoccur in future. So a fault tree analysis or FTA is uh, essentially a diagrammatic representation of the failure path or the failure chain of events that take place okay so it is essentially a top-down approach so in the simplest of ways uh, when we encounter a problem in a process or a system we can use FTA to outline all of the components or factors in the system which can actually cause the problem and we get to the root of understanding specifically what caused the problem so there can be one factor or multiple factors which could actually lead to the problem occurring in the first place okay so a fault tree analysis consists of uh, two primary components events and logic gates now let's look at an example now let's look at an example to firstly understand the components and the structure uh, and essentially what a fta looks like okay now here is a simple FTA where the box at the top is called the top level event or the problem at hand okay so that is where we place a problem at hand because this is a top down event so we start from the top okay and that is the event that needs diagnosing and then there is a logic gate which we look into now uh, followed by a couple of intermediate events okay and because there is the existence of uh, intermediate events here because we are essentially breaking the event down into its uh, basic components yeah so we are, we are we are breaking the problem down to its roots okay so at the bottom here we have uh, another logic gate and another couple of event types uh, the circular event type here represents the the basic event uh, the basic event which is uh, the root cause which actually led to the problem which is being diagnosed here now in this case there's uh, there's one root cause there can be multiple root causes as we will understand uh, during the course of this tutorial uh, the diamond shaped event is called an underdeveloped event which means uh, this type of an event would need further examination and further investigation now we will soon populate this diagram to help you understand what events actually mean but let's first look at what logic gates are okay there are a couple of uh, different types of logic gates there are various types of logic gates but we are going to look at a couple of types of logic gates in this tutorial now logic gates are actually essential components in any digital ecosystem so students of engineering will be very familiar with what logic gates actually are now they are actually used in various digital circuits wherein we have uh, multiple inputs and a single output okay now we use logic gates and fta to actually break problems down to their essential components and get to the root causes the two most common types of logic gates used in fta are the and gate and the or gate yeah and both gates will have two inputs and one output in an OR gate the presence of one positive input will produce an output and in an AND gate both inputs need to be positive uh, to produce a, a positive output okay now let's see events and logic gates in use in our simple example that we've previously looked at and it'll all be quite clear to you yeah so we go back to that example and populate it so the top level event or the problem that we are going to investigate here is the uh, the malfunction of a machine yeah so we understand that this could either be because of uh, a mechanical failure or an electrical failure 
yeah so those are the two components we have identified to be uh, responsible uh, for for the machine to malfunction so we separate these two out using an OR gate yeah so a mechanical failure or an electrical failure can both lead to machine malfunction so an OR gate essentially means that either input can actually result into the output so that's why we use an OR gate here yeah now for an electrical failure to happen there would be a problem with the wiring okay and uh an overload these could be these would be like these would both need to happen for the electrical failure to take place yeah and that is why we use an AND gate here yeah the basic problem diagnosed in this case is an overload yeah and that's therefore becomes uh, the basic event so that is why it's uh, in the circle uh, right at the bottom now wiring issues has been identified as an undeveloped issue in this case and this would actually require further investigation before we propose any actions in this regard so that is why that remains an undeveloped event yeah so this is uh, our simple example revisited but it's important to actually look at a detailed example and that would actually help us understand the whole concept of an fda yeah now let's look at this detailed example and the problem we are facing in here is that we have a car that isn't starting uh, in an ongoing winter month yeah and we are running an fda to understand what the root cause of this problem is why is the car not starting up we firstly put the problem at the top and understand that there could be two problems uh, or two problem categories rather fuel and electrical issues so fuel issues or electrical issues so it's either or yeah so that's why we are using a or gate here yeah and either can result in the car not starting uh, so we firstly look into the the fuel side of things yeah in terms of fuel issues we then identify that there is no gas in the tank okay that's a big problem and there's also no spare can of gas either so these both of these issues together lead to there being a, a prominent fuel issue here yeah so these are both uh, and since it's basically the combination of the two causing the problem we're using an AND gate to mark out these two basic events here so so we've identified two basic events here already and they are leading to the winter car starting problem uh, and now we move on to the electrical side of things and we identify that we could either have a dead battery problem uh, or a problem with the alternator or a problem with the car starter yeah now right now if you don't understand cars don't worry because uh, I'm no car expert myself just think about these three components that I've just mentioned as things that are uh, or parts that are needed to actually start the car so you've got a battery alternator and a starter so we have identified that the problem could lie uh, with either of these three components yeah but since we are not car service professionals uh, there's no way for us to be sure if the problem lies with the uh, the starter or the or the alternator yeah so these would therefore need further inspection and these would therefore be undeveloped events but we do know that uh, there is a problem that we don't actually have uh, uh, have enough battery power rather so there is a dead battery because obviously your car would indicate that yeah uh, so that becomes a basic event and the alternator issue and the starter issue actually become undeveloped events yeah uh, and <clears throat> what we do know that either problem here can actually cause an electrical startup failure right so this is the reason why we're using an OR gate so you can see what we've done here we have actually split the problems out into two categories fuel issue and electrical issue and then in terms of fuel issue we have identified two basic events but both of them need to happen at the same time to cause that fuel issue that's why we're using an AND gate there and in terms of the electrical issue the issue can either be with the dead battery which we know is the case and then there can be an issue with the alternator or the starter 
Now the alternator and starter issues need further investigation so they're undeveloped events and the, the dead battery is clearly a basic event. So we're, we're, we're able to identify why the car isn't starting, yeah? Now look at uh, looking at what sort of an analysis we have carried out. We have actually carried out a qualitative analysis uh, in this example or in both our examples, yeah? Uh, and it, when it comes to analyzing the results of a FTA, the analysis can be qualitative, like in our examples, or quantitative, yeah? So in our qualitative analysis, we were actually able to identify basic events, failure, parts, and other contributing factors uh, quite logically. So we were able to, to use our senses, we were able to actually gauge the situation at hand, and we were able to come up with basic events. We could able we were able to uh, logically figure out what the events are. But in complex projects, one would need to actually know uh, the probabilities of each event occurring and the dependencies of each of the different events with one another. So therefore, it's quite important for you to actually do uh, some further research on FTA to understand the quantitative side of things it is equally important it's not something that we are going to be covering in this tutorial but it is extremely important nevertheless but what we do understand from this tutorial is that a FTA can be useful when it comes to finding out root causes of problems in the context of businesses in the con in the context of uh, complex projects uh, or processes uh, that exist in businesses or also in everyday life so our car starter problem was an everyday problem so an FDA is therefore extremely easy uh, and an extremely important component or, or a concept that you should uh, understand and and grasp and you can use it in, ev in your everyday life as as much as you can use it in business okay great so that was uh, a brief introduction of fault tree analysis i'd uh, as always recommend that uh, use the comment section to recommend uh, f uh, future topics to be covered in this channel i thank you so very much for your attendance as always and as always uh, please like this content please subscribe to the channel if you're new here and uh, please spread the word share this content and support uh, the initiative of this channel uh, for for more regular videos on a regular basis okay thank you very much take care Bye.